What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to help improve your own individual life. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all have something we could work on. That's just the normal uh, human experience. You feel me? So, before I get started, I want to say a big shout out to my supporters. You guys are great. You guys are the reason I make these videos for, because at the end of the day, we're all interconnected. So I be really speaking from experience for myself, but if it can help, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? This is free game, free knowledge to just help people in general, because right now we're in a crucial period where we're suffering, whether people want to believe it or not. And some are doing worse than others. And that is going to be determined by which side they take. So, again, big shout out. The title of this video is going to be on the sides that are played and the truth and the information that they don't want you guys to know. So it took me a little minute to even record this video because the information I'm about to give to y'all is what they don't want you to know. But it's very real. It operates life. It determines how your life is going to go. And it, it can either kill you spiritually or it can help you thrive the choice is yours but it's all up to a person's individual mindset and their choices and the route they choose to take in their life so let's get started in life you know what i'm saying this physical reality that we see with our eyes is one that is created by humans and then on the flip side of that it is also a spiritual world that cannot be created nor destroyed. And that is the reality that we actually live in, our own true selves. Now understand, when you come into a place where you are fully okay with who you are and can't no one penetrate that field, you will have a chance to be able to navigate life through the spiritual side of life. But if you can't see out your spiritual eyes yet, it is either because you don't have enough experience in life or because something is blocking you of seeing yourself for who you truly are, which means you're either mind controlled by someone telling you who you need to be you either are getting validation from the people that make you you. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have the power to understand that you are you. And everything about you is tailored to your own individual self. But if you are steady seeking validation from things and places, that is where the spiritual eye is closed. You know what I'm saying? This spiritual world has been going on for so long, centuries, decades, generations, worlds way before we were even thought of and created. It is the reality of life. It is so complex that scientists can't even explain half of the things that be going on. And if to a human, you can't make it make sense on a logical level, they will find something to attach to something that they can't explain to make it have a logical explanation until it goes time for them to have to present uh, supporting evidence to make it make sense. Then they, everybody gets confused and now it's all in, you know, mind manipulation mode, you know? So because of the spiritual world, it is two sides. You have the light and you have the dark. The light usually gets dimmed out by the dark before they even have the chance to shine bright. You know what I'm saying? The light is guided by the higher power inside themselves. Now listen, I understand a lot of us 
in in the old days and a lot of people who watch my videos are very god orientated i get it but i would say universally your life can be created the way you see fit for yourself the more you believe in who you are because the godlike power is inside every single human being you know now people want to believe that it's this man that they pray to and you know what i'm saying they could get relieved of their demons and step into the the light of themselves you know but but the way the world is usually controlled is I have to have you believing in something other than yourself because that is how I will control you. If you do not believe in something and you believe in yourself too much, you give yourself your own power to fully know who you are and you can create your life the way you want it to be. And that's the part that people uh, have a hard time trying to understand. And let me explain to you how... Is supporting evidence that supports that. If you don't notice or haven't noticed, religion and God is usually not talked about in public places. They refrain people from talking about it in work environments. You cannot talk about that in certain areas in, in the world. You know what I'm saying? They have certain churches that, you know what I'm saying, have a strong following and strong you know what i'm saying background by as many people as they get to believe in the power of god and follow it you know what i'm saying now this is not to discourage anybody y'all can choose to believe it or not but i'm just giving it on a different version you know but then you say like you're a child and you've been going to church your whole life right and you have your mother and father in your life and, and they're very uh, cool with the pastor and the pastor's wife, you know what I'm saying? And then say one day, your mom end up having an affair with the pastor. That is not godly in no shape or way or form. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not. So it's then has that child reevaluating everything they thought they knew. You know what I'm saying? Because they had this whole formula of what they thought it was, you know? But let me rewind it back a little bit. It's the lights inside yourself and the ability to realize and know who you are and create your life the way you see fit for yourself. And then you have the dark. These are the people who have really no regard for human life. If it's not about them, it's not about nobody. They will pretend, they will act, they will finesse, they will manipulate, they will do whatever they can to get the people to follow their way. Because the people who live in the dark, their way of life is usually dictated by other people's opinion, money, status, and anything of material possession. And I'm going to risk and do anything I can to keep up the image of having this flashy lifestyle and if i have to hurt another person in the process i'm gonna do it because my image and all the things you know that run my life over here in the dark is what helps me be me we do not facilitate our darkness off of feelings and understanding who we are we get our validation off of snatching souls of mate of people who are invalid who get gain from material wealth you know what i'm saying and the light people understand other people because we are all people we don't use money status validation you know what i'm saying as any way of being who we truly are and the dark's mission if you guys want to call it the devil, that's what they call it. I think it is. I don't think I know. It is the lower vibrational souls of people that do not believe in who they are. They only get some type of validation in life by the souls they can take 
you know what I'm saying? The, the, the material validation they have, the status that they have. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to them having to snatch their status away to be there for someone or care for somebody other than themselves, it's not going to happen. As whereas light will sacrifice themselves for the love of another. Because at the end of the day, realizing and understanding the pain and hurt that comes with the things that people will do to keep their status and their mentality up will hurt other people in the process. And it's a very, very, very understandable thin line between both worlds. Because I'm going to just be honest. Everything that's in the low vibration or dark water, people, money, you know what I'm saying, sex and drugs and all that, everybody likes it. You know what I'm saying? It, it will will you in so fast, you won't even know what you done got yourself into. You know what I'm saying? And the ability to uh, understand and know what causes you to have mood swings, what causes you to be mad at the world, what really angers you, the feelings of the things behind why you get angry, you know, uh, the, 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 the feeling of using your voice to speak up when you're not okay with something, you know, uh, making certain changes in your life to get different outcomes. That is the hardest thing for people to look at themselves. So it is so much easier to deflect everything of what they need to heal and process for themselves and put it onto something else it's so much easier it's so much easier i see it all the time you know what i'm saying another example i seen a young lady put on facebook oh uh what stops two people from being in love da, da, da. you know what i'm saying and one girl commented and was like because people have to learn to love themselves first before they can love someone else. Oh, I truly understand this status. Woo -de -woo. But I don't think the the woman who's posting the status even realize like every day you get on social media and you make videos of you just so bored, smoking weed, doing nothing all day in the house with a miserable spirit. Like, you know what I'm saying? People don't even be mindful of the things that they do two and three days before, especially if you in a, a low vibrational spirit, you can't seem to remember too far because the way you get ahead in life is finessing and manipulating people. And you'll do it, you'll let a little time go, and then you'll do it again. As long as they allow you to do it to them, that is how you get them to convert over to your side of the playing field of life. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's crazy because the people who live in the dark, they know how to pretend for nests and look good and everything. You know what I'm saying? But say they're having a bad day and, and the, the original plan or whatever they got going for their life ain't going right. You know what I'm saying? In some shape, way, fashion, or form, they will release that anger onto the people of light in any shape or form you know what i'm saying they tend to be the first victims because when a person lives in the dark and they're angry and something's not going right they'll unleash that anger on anybody doesn't matter who you are they kids they mama they daddy they siblings doesn't matter just the first one they come across and if you happen to be a person that is more high vibrational in the spirit you know what i'm saying they'll target you first and their whole mission is to get everybody of light to come over to the dark. You know what I'm saying? But on the downside of the darkness is they are trying to kill your spirit. They will kill you in the spirit first if they don't get you physically. You know what I'm saying? You will be killed in the spirit the more that you think and operate in a low vibration on the dark side. In the long run, your spirit will be killed if not you as a person physically and it's usually it's a leader on both sides you know what i'm saying you have a leader of the darkness 
which means they operate a certain way. They do things a certain way. If you think you're going to do anything outside of that box, you know what I'm saying? We will disown you, kick you out, and you will be alone and in fear. And most people don't even want to be by themselves. They need something or somebody to validate them. So they will do whatever they can to, to, to praise this leader. You know what I'm saying? And in the light, the leader is usually us. <laughs> it's us believing in ourselves enough to, to, to lead our life the way we want. Put our energy in things to see it take off and go where we want it to go without being energetically stopped. You have to understand and know that people of the light are always going to be stopped by the dark because the people who operate in the dark do not fully believe in themselves. It's something in their life that they are refusing to deal with and understand in a soul level. You know what I'm saying? So they almost coincide together. But the people of light have the ability to turn their pain into power. You know what I'm saying? Turn their pain into being creative. Understanding what ticks them off, puts them in certain moods. Operating differently. Making different course of actions. Focusing on what they really want out of life without getting distracted. And that means you have to have a very strong mind state. You know, and, and listen, I'm only speaking from experience. I used to operate on the dark side. I used to chill with the dark side. I ain't gonna lie. In my old days, the dark side was a turn on to me. You feel me? A female with all her friends, they all with the shit. They all, you feel me? Ain't gonna let nobody get in their way. You feel me? They got them skimpy ass clothes on. They got fat asses. They look good. You feel me? They smoking weed, popping bottles all day, every day. You feel me? That shit was a turn on. Excuse my language. At a time in my life. You feel me? I'm I'm over there with them. You know what I'm saying? Cause they know how to get you feel me, have a party and 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 get it cracking. You feel me? And everything else gonna be good. Until I started to realize that once the party is over, who they are on a daily basis is is somebody that I also was that I didn't want to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lay in bed all day. I don't want to have no drive, no goals. I don't want to stay at the, you know what I'm saying, standard level of living where we just living to die. We don't got no goals, no dreams, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? We allow, you feel me, people to just do us any kind of way as long as we got them sucked in. And me just speaking from experience, you feel me, a person could, you feel me, portray that type of person. When they with their partners and they getting they, you, you feel me, all y'all clicked up together. But when they by they self, you feel me, low self-esteem, you feel me, baby daddy be cheating, you feel me, they just take whatever, you feel me, nigga house don't be clean, you feel me, whoever they with be treating them like shit, you feel me, nigga they lay in bed all day, you feel me, you say the one wrong thing, they getting angry, you know what I'm saying, listen, that is the flip side of the coin to being a low vibrational person and appearing to people when it's good is good, but when it's down is different. Listen, I, I, absolutely not. A person of light will operate the same way all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they will have their bad days. Yes, they will have their attachments. Yes, they will have their wounds internally, but the way they treat people is the same. You know what I'm saying? And, and the reason why I'm speaking about this situation is because I just had to do something that, you know what I'm saying, didn't make me feel good at all, you know, but it was time, you know what I'm saying? Because for a long time, I didn't fully trust and believe in myself. And because of that, you know what I'm saying? It caused me to have lots of attachments to people that were stronger in areas that I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But because you think like that doesn't necessarily mean because those people are stronger in areas that you, that you, you know what I'm saying, or not, means they're in your best interest. Because people got to understand because of the difference between the two worlds, the spirit is, is non-physical, you know what I'm saying? But it's the dreams you have. It's the thoughts you have. It's the intuition you have of something not being, something being wrong, you know what I'm saying? 
and people tricking your mind to make you think it's okay. It's the unseen. So because people don't have no support and evidence to support the facts, it's real easy to make you think or feel something other than what you think you know. That is the spirit world. But the thing is, the spirit world cannot be finessed, manipulated, or blindsided. Everything that you experience there is very much real. You know what I'm saying? Your dreams are not fake. You know what I'm saying? But people, most people don't even look into them. They just pass them off. You know what I'm saying? You having the same dream over and over and over is trying to give you a warning of something that you choose to bypass in the physical world. And it only is tailored to you. You know what I'm saying? We're all very powerful spiritual beings having a human physical experience. You know what I'm saying? So we all have the ability to intertwine with each other, especially if you guys all have darkness that mirrors each other. You tend to be attached to those people that have the same similar storylines as you do until you get to a place where it's time to cut the cord, which means you have to understand and know who you are. But it is so many people that is trying to get human beings to not know who they are not get in touch with who they are you know what i'm saying never believe and trust what you think and know you know your body usually gives you indications when you're in a bad situation when somebody is not good for you but we tend to ignore them because the the darkness in us that mirrors the darkness in them is something we haven't healed so it's easier to bond with them you know what i'm saying but until one gets into a disagreement or having a bad day and now everything just disrupts and you're like man i can't believe they would do that to me this that and the third yeah because both of y'all haven't healed y'all darkness so because of that it it means you know what i'm saying you're willing to 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 lash out on anybody when you're going through a period of darkness you feel me listen it is the world unseen that they don't want us to know. But these movies where it's always a bad guy versus a good person, you know what I'm saying? It is the way the world works. And the mission is for the bad guys to stop the good guys from winning. You know what I'm saying? And we'll do whatever we can to keep you from winning. Because a lot of times people in the spirit world can see something in you before you see it in yourself. And if they're evil, they're going to do everything they can to try to keep that under wraps. So you never discover who you are, which means all the spirits from my history and my background, as far as incarceration and drugs and prostitution and all that, we're going to, we're going to put those things in your life and see which one takes you down. Whatever one keeps you in the mind state of not feeling valuable of yourself is where we're going to keep you down at. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I I love love, but nigga, love will get you killed for real. That is the one thing that will really just take you out mentally. Because your love for someone else can keep you trapped in a situation that you know is not good for you. And you will continue to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Because you're operating out of something from the dark side, whether it's the sex, the money, you know what I'm saying? The validation, the power of controlling somebody, you feel me? That, that, you're cool with that. You're cool with downplaying yourself. You're cool with downplaying your feelings. You're cool with waking up on the wrong side of bed. You're cool with, you know what I'm saying? People not seeing your darkness because you operating out of a low vibrational state and it's easier, you know what I'm saying? To get power and control over somebody else. Like the darkness, the whole main mission is to get power and control of people. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy part about it is sometimes it's hard to determine who lives in it and who don't. That's why you got to really understand who you are. And that is why too many people of light don't either live that long, somebody tries to take them out, or you know what I'm saying? They just don't get as far as they should because it, 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 the darkness is always trying to take them out. You know what I'm saying? It's it. Listen, <laughs> it's a very crazy and dirty game, but it's real life, you know. And and being that the darkness can operate in anybody, 
to try to take you out is the scary part. You know what I'm saying? Because because I love love so much and I be trying to think and see the good in everybody all the time, that tends, even even after they do me wrong a couple of times, I still be trying to see the good in them. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it ultimately cripples me though. You know what I'm saying? And I can't afford to be crippled by other people because... I'm trying to get ahead in life or I'm trying to better myself in life. You know what I'm saying? Why would you not want that for somebody? You know what I'm saying? Because they're not really for you. That's why. You know what I'm saying? And, and when you turn your pain into power and you eventually know how to identify your triggers and what things are holding you back, you will take the necessary steps to alleviate you know what I'm saying? The things that's holding you back. And minds tend to come from a very strong attachment. Like, I have a very strong attachment to people. You know what I'm saying? And it's not healthy nor good. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, it's a part of me. And maybe because I'm a cancer, I tend to hang on far longer than I goddamn need to. It's only putting a dent on myself. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm at a time and a place where I identify the problem. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and uh, I alleviate it. I don't need no uh, support and evidence. I don't need something out of a book. I don't need nobody else's opinion. I go straight off my gut. And if my gut is telling me something and I need to move in that direction, I'm going to do it. Most people, when they have a gut feeling, which is also identified as your intuition, don't move off of it, especially if they're not strong in their selves. Somebody can come in and say one little thing, throw them off, and because of their love for them, they are completely not trusting what they said. You know what I'm saying? But then you go home by yourself replaying it because it's your body telling you, hey, what you were thinking wasn't wrong. But you let somebody else trick you out your spot. You know what I'm saying? They don't feel nothing less of themselves. You the only one who got got. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Having the ability to believe in yourself is the power. You have to understand, it is a lot of people who move on the dark side, who know how to get into a position of power to control people. For instance, it's, it's good cops, but it also is bad cops. You know what I'm saying? But if I finesse or manipulate and, and come in having you think this certain way about me, how would you be able to tell the difference? You wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm smart enough to trick you out of what you think you saw or what you think is going on, I still win. Not all cops are dirty, but there are some that is. You know what I'm saying? But the badge and the uniform gives them the power they need to trick anybody out their spot. To use that power that they have in ways that's not good for nobody. Due to whatever insecurities they may have in their life growing up that they didn't heal. So they chose the side and they stayed over there. You know what I'm saying? And then you also have good cops. You know what I'm saying? That actually operate in protecting the people understanding and having a feeling for people and having a way of you know what i'm saying being an empath like myself which means you can feel what other people are feeling you can understand where they're coming from you can understand if there's true soul intention but if it's not you can feel that too right off the bat you know what i'm saying but the difference in a lot of people on the dark side they're so they're smart too and they're 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 good at what they do. You know what I'm saying? So if you come up to them or approach them with something that is going to discredit them or make them feel invalid, I promise you, they got a way of switching it up. You know what I'm saying? Saying something to you, you know what I'm saying, catering to one of your vices, whatever. You know what I'm saying? To make you feel like what you saying and knowing is not the truth. Don't ever underestimate anybody on the dark side. They're smart and they're powerful too. You know what I'm saying? And they, they can make you feel like you tripping. You know? But kind of finesse or manipulate 
or you know what I'm saying, alter your feelings and make you feel any type of way. You can't, you know what I'm saying, trick us with the with the with the sex and the money and you know what I'm saying and the drugs and anything like that. Like that don't appeal to us. You're not gonna finesse me and dumb me down and make me feel less than by material gain. Because it's easy to trick my mind out of what I think and I know. You know what I'm saying? And listen. It also comes with the material gain as well, but in the process of working your way up to being a person of light, you're going to have to sacrifice some things and you're going to have to take the, the battles and you're going to have to take the people trying to kick you. You're going to have to take the people trying to knock you down. You're going to have to take the manipulation. You're going to have to take the anger outbursts. You're going to have to take, you feel me, people in the, in the parts of them that they haven't healed. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you're either going to succumb to that or you're going to figure out how to transform it and keep growing and that's usually where people lo lose the fight you know what i'm saying listen i i don't care they don't want nobody to know about this but i don't give a damn because it's very important otherwise you will be tricked and deceived by people in the world and and every day the younger they are the easy it is to get them to conform to either side you either going to believe in yourself or you not. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? I believe it is a stronger force in the world that operates and creates the life you see for yourself depending on your mental mind state and your soul and where you are spiritually. But if you're not strong in your soul and your spirit, they will kill you spiritually. And you will die. If not from internal diseases and internal sicknesses, physically. You know what I'm saying? And it's real easy to get a person trapped inside their mind. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people hate it so much they don't want to be there. So they'll believe in anything. They'll take anything. You know what I'm saying? They'll, 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 you, you feel me? Uh, pamper themselves with anything just to get out of the mental mind state of what they feel about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Listen. A woman could be a baller and have hella money. You know what I'm saying? Get cheated on by her nigga and go buy herself a a, 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 a new purse and a new car and a chain. Now she done forgot all about that nigga doing her dirty. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of the time, the darkness just turns their darkness onto other people. They don't heal it. You know what I'm saying? It just sits there. And now they they turn their portrayal that got done to them into portrayal onto others. You know, both sides are equally powerful. No one understands. Both sides are equally powerful. But I'm going to tell you right now, the light usually gets further ahead and more authentic because they know how to move and operate without making people feel like they're invalid or less than. People do not want to feel like they are invalid or less than. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? People that move in the dark operate a lot of times off of fear and control of your mental mind state, period. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, this is one thing that I am still cannot understand. For so many years, <laughs> we never knew who killed Tupac. But I'm still finding it super odd and super crazy how this man was in the car with Suge Knight and all the bullets hit Tupac, but none hit Suge Knight. I do not find that as a coincidence. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Then they turn around and kill Biggie. They still haven't found either one of those people's killers. I strongly think because somebody was paid and operated on the dark side and didn't mind taking them out. You know what I'm saying? You too much into, you know, making magic and loving yourself and in power and control and think you a beast and the boss. You feel me? I'm going to take you out. You know what I'm saying? But the way the world is and how interchangeable the world is, everything go up, must come down, in, out, sideways. People of light sometimes get their light dimmed out because they be janky towards other people too. You know what I'm saying? Listen, they karma, they past karma come back for them. That's why I strongly believe that 
the more you love yourself and you love who you are, you don't give people a chance to play you and you don't go out into the world playing other people because you strongly know how karma operates. And a lot of people are getting their karma these days and they don't like it. You feel me? But maybe you should have healed your pain instead of taking your pain out on others. Because it'll come out one way or another. Listen, betrayal was done to me inside my inner circle. So after it got done to me so much inside my inner circle, I learned how to see beyond the betrayal. Because people are in your inner circle, they are nice to you, they are kind to you, they tell you they love you, to only betray you. You go so many days, you go through so many experiences, and they will keep betraying you. A person that shows you who they are, believe them. Doesn't matter what type of, you know what I'm saying, uh, person they are to you family lover friends doesn't matter when they show you who they are trust and believe that is who they are and they will keep betraying you over and over again until the light clicks on and you start to feel really realize these people are not for me you know what i'm saying it will show but they will do their best to disguise it and cover it up you know what i'm saying or act like it totally didn't happen. To only do it again to you. And, and hope that you act like they didn't do nothing. You feel me? Or they're smart and cunning too. They'll, excuse me, they'll make it seem like what you, what they did, oh well, is, you know what I'm saying? That's not going to happen. That's not the truth. To see if you fall for that. So then that they can come in and do it again. You know what I'm saying? Listen. When you have been betrayed so much, you either gonna learn how to take that betrayal and turn it into pain and see through it and read through people and have the ability to have the gift of discernment or you're gonna take that betrayal into moving your life to where you betray other people to make your life look good. And everybody both wins, but one is gonna get further ahead though, period. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to them to trust and believe in who they are you will get further ahead in life by authentically being yourself and there's so many people in the world that are not themselves but you wouldn't know especially if you like come from the hood and you broke and you see somebody you look up to who look good and always got nice things you know what i'm saying you're not gonna look at them as you know what i'm saying somebody less than you when really you may have more in the spirit than they do, but they do a good job at covering it up. So don't ignore betrayal, because I promise you, when a person really shows you who they are, believe them. They're not lying. Don't ignore that. Don't act like it didn't happen. They showed you that part of them on purpose. That's why you gotta really love who you are. So you'll be able to know the difference and see it for what it really is. Sit back, chill, put your sunglasses on, and watch. Stop talking, you know what I'm saying? Spend some time alone, figure out what it is about you that separates yourself from the pack. You know? Listen, this world is dangerous, and they have so many people in positions of power that you know what I'm saying, just want us to believe, I don't give a damn who becomes the president at the end of the day. That is not popular opinion to me because what they fail to realize is y'all got people outside of y'all president circle that's acting more turked up than the people over here in the president circle. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the people we rock with every day on these streets is more turned up than the president, his presidency or whatever. You feel me? I don't give a damn who going to be president because ain't nothing going to change. In order for things to change, the people have to be willing to change themselves and heal themselves to make a better world. Otherwise, it's just going to be one person in position of power operating out of their position of power of how they see fit for themselves. It's, it's obvious. You feel me? Trump got money. You got convicted of being a felon. 
so you can turn the election towards you so you can win and you can dominate the world for you did what you needed to do for yourself you feel me i listen the woman okay that'd be great if she becomes president but somewhere in the the dark side of life some men don't want her to be president he gonna do whatever he can and knock her down Oh, she's a whore. She slept with people. How, what does her sleeping with people have anything to do with her running for president? You know what I'm saying? Listen, this world is is dumb, if you ask me. And I hope it can get better. If my mom gave me an option on if I wanted to be here when, uh, when I was conceived, I probably would have said put me back. Because the way this world operates, it is not set or destined for anyone to win and get ahead. And the craziest part about it is once you're able to see through the illusion, you can see that the betrayal usually comes from the inner circle that you trusted. And when you love as hard as I do or some of the people in the world do, that can cause you pain because you're trying to figure out how the people that you would dang near do anything for could betray you and hurt you and make you feel less than. And it usually leads people in a down road spiral. They don't know how to get back on their feet. They don't know how to take that pain and put it into passion. They sit in the corner every day thinking, why me, why me? Nigga, fuck that. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? I'm no longer that person. So I'm not finna sit and mope and be sad and think because I don't have a certain set of people around me that I can't prosper in life. I'm gonna die by myself. And I was born by myself without nobody. Mama, daddy, siblings don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? So what difference would it make? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once you figure that out, you'll stop needing validation from others. You're stop, you know what I'm saying, living your life to please other people. You won't give a damn. And sometimes you got to go through certain situations to be able to realize that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I went to prison. I didn't have nobody. Three people that was, you know what I'm saying, wrote me here and there. But at the end of the day, you all you got in that motherfucker. So, you feel me? Why would I let another person make me feel less than about myself? You feel me? The objective and the goal is for you not to know your power. It's for you not to know who you are, for you not to know what you're capable of, for you to condemn and kill yourself spiritually if you don't let another person kill you spiritually. Living in your head will kill you spiritually. Body diseases, you can all heal yourself from those things. You don't need pills. You don't need to take medication. You don't need to talk to somebody. It's just the fact that people are so afraid to look inside themselves. People are so afraid to understand the truth within themselves. People are so afraid to feel like they are invalid or blame themselves. They don't want to take accountability. Nothing is their fault. It's always something or somebody else. And because the world is set up and designed like that, that is why a lot of people take their downfall. You, you feel me? And this right here, this brain in your head is usually where people usually die first. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the world is operated. And that's the game that's being played. And I just hope that, you know what I'm saying, this video can help people understand that the godlike power is inside yourself. God himself was once a human being who had to go through lies, betrayals, and misunderstandings to be able to have the power of believing in himself without letting his brain get control of him and knock him down. Everyone has it in themselves. You know what I'm saying? It is you, your power, your strength in knowing and understanding the life and that you have set out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the dark, which they call the devil, is the people who they don't care about others. They don't care to heal. They just simply have status of being something by just what they have. And, and you know what I'm saying? Finessing people and they think about themselves and you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And both sides are equally powerful. So you just gotta be smarter than the other. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just tired of watching people get mad at other people for where they're short at in their life. Where they can't heal themselves at their life. So they're jealous and envy of other people. That's dumb and it's stupid. If you just stopped and paused and took a look at your own life and where you could improve, 
you would grow too. And your envy and jealousy for others wouldn't be there. But see, that's the thing. Most people don't care to even look at that. They're okay with it, but not understanding that that's what's blocking them for becoming their true self. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your money. Fuck your status. Fuck everything you think you got. You feel me? That's going to overpower me. I take accountability. I tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? I can understand and look at the things that's not working out for me in my life and use different actions to try to change those results. And I'm okay with understanding that it's going to take time. And sometimes I have to wait, but standing on business and keep doing the same thing to get the results I want. I don't need an overnight, you know what I'm saying, reaction to keep my status. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people in the world are like that. So, again, before this video ends, I just want people to know and understand. Your betrayal comes from your inner circle. You know what I'm saying? If there is cults. And these cults operate and think the same. And anybody who think they finna break out, we will disown you and make you feel less than. And most people can't deal with that. So they do everything that the cult is telling them to do. They look up to the leader. And anybody that's telling them to believe in themselves is completely, completely off the radar. You know? And people in higher positions know that. People in lower positions know that. We all have the power. But this is... It's up to knowing how strong are you. You know what I'm saying? Listen, nobody will control me. Absolutely not. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, the people doing the controlling are are at a weaker space spiritually than you are, but you can't even see it. You know what I'm saying? Your gifts will become brighter the moment you believe in yourself. But again, most of us in the world are still looking for validation from others. I don't give a damn about all that. So listen, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because the truth is what they don't want you to know. But the truth is what's going to help elevate the world right now. Because we're in a pivotal time period where they want us to focus on stuff that does not help or make sense to us. It is all to satisfy or make someone else happy. When at the end of the day, you were born by yourself and you're going to die by yourself. If you cannot have the balls to look at your own life and see what's crippling you behind the scenes, but you have an easier time at being jealous and envy of somebody else, it's something wrong with that picture. And if you are too afraid to fix it, that's on you. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Listen, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's important.